Hey guys, welcome back to Banjo Tooie. We are here in Spiral Mountain because I gotta get the other stop and swap egg that I didn't grab last time when I got the pink one. I don't know why I didn't. I don't have five Cheeto pages though, so can't check in with Cheeto. I'm just here for the free food, dude. Or the flight pad. Still got Dragon Kazooie, although I kinda miss regular Kazooie. I think you get infinite fire egg ammo as Dragon Kazooie, so that's nice. It could come in handy in a boss fight coming up a few worlds from now. Not that it really matters. I think you have plenty of egg ammo. It's just clockwork eggs, maybe not so much. But right behind the waterfall, all you need is grip grab. I was thinking I needed a move I didn't have yet to get this thing. But I forgot this ledge was up here. It's kind of crazy to think that as soon as you learn grip grab in world one, you can get the ice key and this egg. And as soon as you get grenade eggs, you can get the pink one. I don't remember what this egg does, though. Or the yellow one that's still in Heggy's egg shed, which you need hatch to do, which we have. So that's cool. That's where we're headed to see what they do. I love this music. Clock! Heggy the hen! Clock! Find special egg. Yes, I do have another egg. I love that trombone, man. It's like Lanky Kong serenading us. Watch Heggy Hatch. Oh yeah, you go sit on that egg. It's one of my favorite things. This is a weird atmosphere, isn't it? Trombones blaring. Fat hens sitting on sparkly eggs. You win nothing! Special Heggy Egg Award homing eggs. Very nice. Cheeto code and enter homing. I forgot this was a thing. Although my memory is saying the homing can be kind of a pain in the neck sometimes if you're specifically trying to aim at something, so I don't know if I'm going to activate it. I love this music. What does this one do? Special Higgy Egg Award Jinjo as multiplayer character. Who is Jinjo? Jinjos are awesome. That's like the best character to play as. Dual hut. Anyway, back to Pterodactyl Land. Here in the Styracosaurus family cave, this episode we are going to be riding that train, man, and getting families back together. Hey, who's sneezing in the backpack with you? Because that's better than medicine. <laughs> I love that noise. It doesn't get old. Look at that kid. He's all happy now that he's bigger, unaware that he's still kind of tiny. It's like when you get really motivated to go to the gym and after several months of hard dedication you only gain like three pounds of muscle and then you go in public and stand next to people who are 30 pounds bigger than you and define the status quo of what a normal man is supposed to be like and you realize you're still small and you feel worthless and you want to jump out of a window. Yeah, it happens. But for now that kid's happy because he's in his cave. But just wait till he goes out in public and realizes he's still really small he's gonna feel like crap try to overdose on pills and maybe die that took a dark turn anyway chuffy the train come get me we got a sick dinosaur to go to the cliff top and who oh yeah get ready for these train cousins hope you like trains choo choo baby i'm coming for you nah I don't know. I'll cut these out though so it's less tedious for you and for me later when I edit it. Although that's really not tedious at all. I like editing things. The commentary is the part that I don't like and that's the part that everybody else likes. Yeah, what a world we live in, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Man. Uh, some people say you're a little bit insane. Alright, let's dump them in the caboose. And then to the cliff top. We're gonna use Mumbo at the Isle of Hags, finally. And then the other dinosaur we saw in Witchy World, so we're gonna go there and reunite two families this episode. What do you gotta say for yourself? Oh, I'm still feeling rather rough. Is this train going to a doctor? Boy, is it ever. Here we are at the cliff top to see Mumbo the Shaman, who's gonna heal the kid. He's very sick and stuff, inhaling poopy air or something, I don't know. 
Anyway, bad singing and stuff aside. I gotta watch my sister's dogs tomorrow. Well, that's not gonna mean nothing to you by the time this goes up. But they're going on a week-long vacation, leaving me to babysit their three dogs, which is fine because I like dogs. They're always happy to see you. My sister has a blue-eyed pit bull. Come on, work. There we go. Watch as I give you Globo through the floor. But yeah, the blue-eyed pit bull is the baby. She's the biggest one, but she's a baby, and she's the sweetest thing. She's a giant love bug. All she wants to do is play and be next to you. Like that police song, all I want to do is be next to you, or whatever, whatever. I can't see through camera. Jeez. Mumbo's hut. But she also has a teacup chihuahua, which she's really old now, and she's like the mean one. But she likes me, though. She's always loved me more than anybody. I don't understand it. And then they have a mix of a Pomeranian and something else who was a rescue dog, and she's kind of hyperactive. But they're all good. I'm gonna go stay at their house because it's just easier that way. Closer to work. And I get to keep an eye on the pups so that they don't get doggy depression. That is a thing, too. Strangely. Ikumpokum, ikumpokum. Ikumpokum in your ass. Alright, sick kid, get out of my train. I gotta go back to the future. Nah. Lots of cutscenes, man. I don't even know what to cut out. Well, the departure, cut out the departure, we'll just keep in the arrivals. Yeah. Right, I feel real healthy now, so I'm gonna run all the way home. After this long hang load to load the family cave. What do you gotta say for yourself? Guy who reminds me of that show Dinosaurs that used to scare me when I was a kid? Thanks for healing my sick child. That'll teach him not to wash his claws before dinner. What? Not to wash your claws? I think that's the opposite of hygienic. But anyway, to Witchy World, we gotta go get the other dino. Ah, oh, it's good to hear this music and be back here. I was getting sick and tired of that dino land. So I believe as soon as the train arrives, the one that was in the Cave of Horrors is going to come running. But she's going to have to wait because we got polar bears to save. Yeah, it's definitely loading here. Oh, I think I heard the train arrive. Time to leave. All the dinosaurs sound the same, regardless of boy or girl. This is kind of annoying, too, because I still don't have the claw clamper boots from Grunty Industries, so I still can't feed the Oogle Boogles. So this is literally the last Jiggy that I could do right now for Pterodactyl Land. The other two are going to have to wait. Blah, you're going to knock that crap off. So while she's in the caboose just hanging out, we got to go shove the fat kid in our backpack. Plus, I know where the other boy is that I haven't found this whole time. When I went back and watched the Dodgem Dome episode, he's in there. For like a brief second, I saw him on the right side when I was looking at that video. I didn't notice while I was playing. So let's go whack him since he's acting up. And then the fat kid was in the Inferno. Which has split up pads right there, so that's super convenient. What's up, dude? I don't know how I didn't see you before. This here is so much fun. I'm not going back to mother. And there's nothing you can do to stop me or make me. Hey! No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to whack you. Get over here. Hey! Ow, what did you do that for, mister? I'm off to find my mom and she'll tell my dad. Well, thanks for finding the little skate for me. There's still another one to find, though. Yeah, he's going to take some work. So, to the Inferno. I believe this is the final Jiggy of Witchy World, which I think might 100% this place. I don't know about the Cheeto pages and the honeycombs. Yeah, topped off the clockwork eggs. So Mumbo Skull is in the Inferno. It's beautiful. We already fed him cheeseburgers too, so we just gotta shove him in the bag. 
Dude, <laughs> I don't know how everything fits. He carried a dinosaur, an even bigger dinosaur, and now a super fat polar bear. Video game logic, man, you don't question it. So, Mrs. Boggy is right by the entrance. Mrs. Boggy. What an animated character. Here you go, here's your chubby son. What did I tell you about not running off? I'm sorry, Mom. Sorry isn't good enough, young man. You've been eating again, haven't you? Well, you'd still better watch your dinner. It was that strange bear, Mom. He made me eat this burger. Enough of your lies! <laughs> Jeez. So much jiggling, man. Hey, now we can stand? Well, I think we've had all the excitement for today. Time to go back to Hailfire Peaks. Boggy will be wondering where we've gone to. He'd better have dinner in the oven. Bye then. Thanks again, Banjo. Take this chiggy I found in the ticket office earlier. Dear Lord. I don't even know what to say, man. Those guys hit rare. Quite a strange bunch of goofy dudes. 50 jiggies out of a total of 90. We're more than halfway. What does that mean for Witchy World? We're missing a Cheeto page, but that's all the jiggies. I don't know where the Cheeto page is. All right, back to the train station. Get off of my train, lady. Now the question is, do we just automatically get this jiggy or do I have to go to the family cave to pick it up? Hopefully it's automatic, but I can't remember. For the life of me. I cannot remember. I hope Mom won't be too mad at me. Well, you stole her money and went off to the amusement park. I'm sure you're gonna be punished. Otherwise, you'll just assume that you could free roam for the rest of your days and you'll be one of those people. What do you gotta say? I can't thank you enough. Please accept this shiny thing I acquired when I trod on one of those unga bungas. We worked really hard for you. Any chance of another Jiggy? No. Fair enough. I think if you get that dinosaur back first, um, the mom or the dad, whatever that thing is like, she's gonna spend the next month cleaning out the cave as her punishment. That's a minjo, get out of here. So now, since this is the train episode, we just reunited the two families. But next stop is Grunty Industries, and we need to infiltrate that place via train. So we actually have to go there and activate the train switch, because it's currently locked. So we could combine that with all this other train business we're doing. So now with the springy step shoes, there's a pair right over here that'll get us to the quagmire. <laughs> I like doing that. Feels good to be done with pterodactyl land though. Grunty Industries is, I remember being kind of a mixed bag. It's very easy to get lost, but I kind of like it at the same time. Quagmire. There we go. I think that's the final silo of the game. Unless there's one at the final area, I can't remember. The Grunty Industries, that Jinjo up top is a Minjo, don't even worry about it. I like the music here, too. Another slide trombone kind of thing. Not yet, but there is a part. <laughs> oh yeah, these guys. <laughs> they make such crazy noises. So the train switch is right over here. Probably could have just fluttered with Super Banjo at my side. Yeah. I can't see the switch. There's the slide. But there we go. Now we just gotta get here via the train station. That's really cool. I like that mechanic. 
And from the inside out, we gotta open the main gate. So the train we left in Pterodactyl Land, so we guess I'm going back to there to get in here. But I feel like Grunty Industries is gonna be its oh, own episode. Looks like we got some of that lens flare business going on. It seems to be an emulator thing. But one thing we could do is break these windows, since we're gonna have to do it eventually anyway. Um, there is a trick, actually, to get inside without the train. It's actually a cool trick, too. You basically fart out an ice egg and freeze the guy at the main gate, smash the window, and fire a clockwork egg. Yeah, there's the claw clamber boots. We learn them inside, though. I'm just... Oh, that lens flare is gonna be annoying. What does this do? Oh, this is for the Jinjo. You gotta leave Banjo on it and have Kazooie climb that. I thought it was a fire exit at first. A blue Jinjo. I forget how many of those we have, though. Any windows? But yeah, at the main entrance, if you freeze that enemy, fire a clockwork egg in the window that's right above the main entrance, and then trigger this transition of going into the window at the same time as you get hit by the enemy after he thaws out, it puts the control back in Banjo and Kazooie's eyes, which makes the clockwork egg as it transitions, it makes the game think that it's Banjo and Kazooie going inside, and that's how you can bypass the train thing. It's pretty cool. Aha, there's the other window. Alright, so now to the train station. But I believe that will be its own episode. We'll do grunty industry stuff with a fresh start. <laughs> I had to hear it one more time. Alright. Yeah, this is the window I'm talking about. If I had frozen that guy at the right angle, fired a clockwork egg up there, we could have done it. But I'll see you next time and we'll explore this level further. Take care.